What's up guys, welcome back to One Life. For those new subscribers, thanks for your support. And this channel's One Life. My name's Sam Clark. It's all about cars and how to fix them, basically. Today's video is a requested video from a subscriber on the Fiat Grande Ponto. I'm gonna show you how to remove and replace, if you need to, the seat release cable for the two door Grande Puntos. It's a common fault, they go on a lot of them or the clips snap or you, and the cable itself comes out and you need to replace it or just find the old cable and get it back in or whatever. It's actually quite easy if you know what you're doing. So you're wondering why I'm in the kitchen, it's because you need to take the seat out of the car to do this job. So I thought why not come inside where it's warm, it's dead icy and cold at the moment and get it done in the warm. Right guys, so I've removed the seat as you can see, I've got it here in my kitchen. Uh, if you need to know how to remove the seat, it's a dead easy job and I've already done a video on it. So there'll be a link at the top right of your screen somewhere about now. So check that out and that'll tell you how to remove the seat to get to this stage. So what you want to do is, do the, do the clip, I don't know if you can see that, and release the seat so it's in like its relaxed position like you would if you had it forward to get in the back and then tip it on its side like so. Right, you see here we've got the plastic panel where on the side that you control this, this is the passenger seat, so you're doing the driver's seat, obviously it's the other way around, it'll be on the other side. And that you don't really have to take off to get to anything. You've basically got two screws, one just at the back here, can you see that? I'll just get a close up of that. And one down the other side. At the back, well, at the front of the seat, should I say? There, that's the front of the seat, and they are little TX to 15 bits, should I say? So we've got a TX 15 bit. You can see that. Focus. It talks a bit like a sort of star end. I'm going to undo those two screws I've just shown you. One. And two. I'm somewhere safe. This bit simply pops off. Right, I'm gonna go get the screwdriver. Use a butter knife. Dead easy. Pop the uh, lever, whatever you call it, the knob to adjust the tilt. And then the plastic bit, trim piece, simply pops off. Simple as that. Now, the bit you ought to be interested in is this bit here around where that knob was that I just pulled off. So I'm gonna grab the camera properly. To see here, you want to pull, just a little bit, the fabric up, and it'll straight away reveal the end of a cable. Can you see that there? It's like a brake cable on a bike or something like that. That's your uh, release cable. So if you watch that cable now, I can hold it up. Without that covering it back up again. And if you can just see that in there, and I'll go and do the handle. See that move? No, it's not the best shot, but you get the idea anyway. So that's the cable that does it. So it's got a little safety clip on it here to stop it popping off. That might be a bit awkward to get off, but try not to wreck it because it'd be a good idea to put it back on if you can. If not, it's not the end of the world. And then this cable simply pop out like it does on a bicycle brake or something like that. So the idea is, is to pull it up from this end, pull it through the, the seat. And if you're replacing it with a new cable, it'd be a case of getting the new cable, sending it through this end and maybe sending a rod or summer up past the fabric just to grab it and pull it through. But I'll, try, I'll show you this out and stuff in a minute. I'm going to get this clip off myself. Maybe using a flat screwdriver. I'll get some tools now. Right guys, we've got some tools. We're gonna get a flat screwdriver. This one will do, it's a bit full of paint and shit. 
and we're going to go I'm not going to stand on the plastic trim for a start I'm going to pull that back up and that clip I've just shown you I'm going to flick off like that it's somewhere over there we'll get to that in a minute and pull the cable out see how easy it just pops out there right, that cable's now loose if I do that I can feel it pulling on this so what we need to do is get the cable out of the handle end which with the handle fully extended just about see so be careful not to lose this end if you open the handle fully it won't stay open now I've undone the cable you can see this screw here so what we'll do is so that's still a 15 yeah that's also a TX15 so I've undone that end I'm guessing there'll be one after undoing the torx bit in this it looks a bit stiff but it basically just slides out like so it's just a bit of plastic that goes over a lever leaving this metal lever here and also showing you the cable so guys you got to this stage you've pulled the handle off cables loose at that end down here you're gonna hold this lever back and I found the best tool up to now was being a butter knife to sort of go in and prise see how the cable see how you get the end of the cable and that bit of metal it's sort of connected to goes through the arm to the back there that bit there I'm touching you can use the knife I'll try and do it a little bit of the way now to push that in and that will push through the hole popping the cable out say if you've got a snap cable you just have to get this end out of the way and then the new cable it's a bit fiddly but you just have to sort of prise this foam out of the way and you can just about get your hands in there to pop it in its hole where it's positioned there and then you'll have to send a piece of metal you know a small metal rod or some sort of bar up here so you don't have to damage any of your fabric on your seats just to grab at the end of your new cable and then basically just sort of fish it through and then you'll fish it through to the point of where I'm at now with this one and you simply pop the cable back in position there make sure it's in position so it'll have resistance again and flip back make sure it's operating that and put you back into tripod mode so if you can see this bit here I've just popped the cable back in there and that's now gripping that it's in its slack mode at the moment but we'll just get the handle back on and then I'll show you it working again so the handle is just a case of it's sort of two pieces but it's not it's still it doesn't come apart so that metal rod that's sticking out the seat if you can see that from there properly that goes into that bit of the handle the sort of square hole bit there and this metal bit here goes into this groove on the plastic handle So I'm going to put it back on the stand and do a quick time that's putting it all back together. So it's a case of popping the handle back on and it'll go yeah, that way around. So it'll flop a bit points so to the floor. Handle back on, the screw back in out the handle which is in there, the TX15. Get the little clip back on on this to secure the cable at this end. And then you'll put the main plastic cover back on, this one, and two screws in each end. Now this covers, I've already done this before I filmed it, so this covers a bit of a pain to get back on. So you're going to need to put a screw in both ends. I found the easiest way to do it is to hold this end down first and get a screw in while holding it down. It won't stay in place on this, it might be a bit better for you guys when you try it on your car, but this has been, doesn't want to stay where I put it. And then you have to squeeze the other end down and get that screw in. And after you've done both of them, you can put the, on the end here, that just clips back on when that plastic cover is back in place properly and that is your job done then you just need to get the seat back in the car if you struggle with that again go back to my video on seat removal 
And that's about it for me really today. I'll show you a quick time lapse now of putting it back together. And other than that, you'll see me next time. Thank you again to the new subscribers. I appreciate your support. I'm going to start making a bit more content over the coming weeks and get a new car on the channel too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.